element graphs learn how to hit task graph point 11 which is transaction analysis for that uh, in your textbook okay so number one the credit balance of 3000 rand in the VAT control account was paid electronically so this is the balance the amount payable to SARS and it was now paid okay so when we make a payment we record our transactions in the CPJ when we make a payment bank is always credited and the account that we're going to debit is the VAT control account because this is where the 3000 was calculated and where the balance is left. The amount will obviously be just the 3000 which was paid. Okay, then number two, sold stock for cash 1230 inclusive of VAT. The markup is 100%. So when we sell goods for cash, the journal is the CRJ. When we sell goods for cash, we always debit bank. And we credit sales. Okay, we also have to debit cost of sales and credit trading stock. Now you must remember that when we do the debit bank credit sales part, sales has to exclude fat. So that means we'll need to record another line for the fat output. Okay, so we debit bank, we credit sales, but we debit bank again, and we credit fat output. Well, the reason is that bank has to include that. So which is why we do two transactions for the bank. Okay, so um, let's start. Right? Okay, so it says uh, 1, 2, 3, 0 inclusive of that. Okay, so that we know that in the bank, between these two transactions, it's going to add up to 1, 2, 3, 0. Okay, let's find the VAT portion of it. So we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 0. Multiplied by 15 divided by 115. Reason is the 1 to 3 0 includes that. Okay, so here we've got our answer. It's going to round it off. So 160. Okay, to get this amount here now, we're just going to say 1 to 3 0 minus 160 because it needs to exclude that. So 1070. Okay, so there we go with that, right? Then the next part is uh, 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 the cost of sales part now. It says that the markup is 100%. Okay, so we need to take the amount which excludes fat because the cost of sales will be calculated on the amount which excludes fat. I'm going to say 1070 multiplied by 100 divided by 200 because of the markup being 100%. Okay, so 5.35. Next transaction, zero rated items sold for cash, 5.40, the markup is 20%. Okay, so we have zero rated items sold for cash, CRJ, and okay, we're going to debit bank and credit sales. Whenever you sell anything, you do that. And because there's no VAT on these items because they are zero rated, we just do our normal entry, debit cost of sales and credit trading stock. Okay, so it was the selling price is 540, and you're going to use the markup of 20% to work out the cost price. So you say 540 times 100 divided by 120. Okay, number four. The account of the data was written off 390. Okay, we do that in the general journal. Always think of your normal journal entry first. So debit bear debt and credit debt is control. However, debt is control has to include that. So we're going to have to um, credit the debt is control again. And the other side of the entry will be fat output. Now the reason we debit fat output, output is because when the sales are made to the data, fat output was credited. But when the pair debt is written off, the reverse needs to be done. Okay? So for the first part here, we need the amount which excludes fat. And then we're going to use the amount of fat. Okay, so the account of the data was written off 390. Now 390 includes fat. We need to exclude fat. We're going to say 390 times 15 over 115. Okay, remember. Always for bad debt because it's an income statement item, we uh, it needs to exclude that. 
Okay, and then the VAT output part of it. Okay, and then it's right here. Needs to exclude VAT, so our calculation will actually be 100 over 115. Okay. 390 times 100 over 115. And now to get the VAT portion, you can just say 390 minus 339. Okay, then number five, marginalized has purchased some credit from a creditor for C454 uh, inclusive. Okay, so when marginalized is purchased from a creditor, we put in the creditor's journal, we debit trading stock because the asset is increasing, and we get the creditor's control. We're going to do that first line, excluding VAT. Then the VAT portion, we're going to debit VAT input and credit the creditor's control. So in total, when we credit the creditor's control, we credit it with a full amount of 3454, which includes VAT, but we need to show it separately. <clears throat> so for this first part, we need to exclude the VAT. So we're going to say 3454 times 100 over 115. <coughs> okay. And here to get the VAT, we could either say 3454 minus 3003. Or we can say 3454 4 times 15 over 115. Whatever you like doing, you can do as long as you get the answer right. Okay, and if you add up these two uh, figures, you should get 3454. 4. Okay, number six. Uh, the account of the BAF creditor was settled, a 5% discount was received. Okay, so this credit, uh, creditor here, who we paid 3, 4, uh, we bought goods from for 3454. Okay? okay, so the account was settled. When we settle an account, we do it in the CPJ. Okay, bank is always credited. And the account we can debit is creditor's control because it is a creditor who is paying. Okay, a 5% discount was received, so we're also going to debit creditors control and credit discount received. And remember, because it's a discount which is being received, we then have to deal with VAT input as well. So we're going to debit discount received and credit VAT input. Okay. Okay, so the amount which was received Okay, is um, okay. It says a five percent discount was received. Okay, so the amount which was actually received, um, which the study which was actually paid, is three four five four. Okay, less five percent, so we're going to multiply by ninety five percent. Okay, so three two eight one. Okay, then the discount which was given was 5%. Okay, okay, so we're just going to take the discount. So we're going to say 3454 minus 3281 to work that out. Okay, so 173. Now this 173 discount that was uh, that we received in the filter includes VAT. So we now need to remove the VAT from it because the VAT needs to be cancelled. So we're going to say 173 times 15 over 115 for the VAT portion. And that's all for that one. Number seven. Pay the monthly utility bill, rates, water, electricity, and other municipal charges to the municipality via internet banking. Total charges amounted to 1562, including VAT. Okay, so we made some payments. So it's in the CPJ. We're going to create a bank. Okay, once for the amount which excludes VAT, and once for the amount of VAT. Okay, so um, we can debit um, water and electricity. Okay, 
Okay, and here we're going to debit fat input. Okay, so it says total charges amounted to 1562, including that. Now, for this, we need to exclude that. We're going to say 1562 times 100 over 115. Okay, and then to get the VAT portion, you can either say 1562 times 15 over 115, or we can just do subtraction, so we'll say 1562 minus 1358. So 204 is the VAT amount. Okay, the next one, number 8. A debtor owing 1,000 settled his account electronically to qualify for the 10% early settlement discount. So when a debtor pays us, it's recorded in the CRJ, whichever bank is receiving money, we credit the debtor's control because the debtor is not owing us the money any longer. Okay, then we've also given the debtor a discount. So um, we're going to debit discount allowed and credit debtor's control with the discount amount. Then any portion of the discount, which is fat, We'll need to come out of the VAT output account and come out of the discount allowed account. All right, so let's start. The data was owing us a full amount of 1,000 yen, but he wanted to qualify for the early 10% settlement discount. So he um, paid, he didn't pay 1,000 yen, he actually paid 10% less. So he paid an amount of 900 yen. And the discount just given to him was 100. Okay, and then the flat on the discount, so the discount is 100, we're just going to say 100. Multiply by 15 over 115. Number 9. Um, a credit customer is charged 234 VAT on the invoice. The correct amount should be 134. The other entries in connection with the sale are correct. Okay, so this is a correction. You need to do it in the general journal. Okay, so if he was charged 234, but it's supposed to be 134. So when he was charged 234, it went to the credit side of VAT output. So now we're going to have to debit VAT output in order to, um, to reduce the amount that was... Oh, um, to reduce the overstatement, right? So we're going to debit VAT output and we're going to create a debtors control because it's obviously not owing us so much of money. And we're going to work out the difference between those two amounts, which is 100. Okay, so that was 234 minus 134. Okay, number 10. Receive the interest on a fixed deposit, 1,400. This amount was deposited electronically. So that's a CRJ transaction. We debit bank and we create a fixed interest on fixed deposit. It has nothing to do with that because interest is taxed elsewhere, so it's 1400. Okay, and that's all there is for this question here. Okay, I'll also be doing task 10 12.12, 12.13. .12, 12 Bye.